Hi everybody, welcome to today's video. Today is our purse trippin' Purse Thursday Thursday, and I have some bags for you guys. So, everything you're gonna be seeing on this video is on my website at PurseTrippin.com. I do ship to Canada, all sales are final, and we accept all forms of payment, and shipping is really, really quick. So, we are going to get started today with bag number one. I have had this style many times, but I have not ever seen this color. This is like a distressed turquoise with a little tiny bit of metallic in it that sort of changes, if you can see that. It sort of has somewhat of like a champagne hint to the background. It's got beautiful silver hardware, rolled leather handles. It's got the little key, MK key, silver chain strap, very cute bag. How's everybody doing today, you guys? Hope you all are doing fantastic. I would really love to come on live. I know lots of you are wanting me to go live again. I'm trying to coordinate my schedule where we can do that. So maybe we will get one coming soon for you. Let's get all the stuffing out of her. So on the inside, you're gonna see a little bit of a mark right here on the bottom, right where my finger's pointing. It has the key lanyard. It has a zipper pocket over here. Well, it's here. <laughs> All right, there's your zipper pocket. And then over here are your two open pockets. And it's got the mag magnetic snap closure. Let's get a gander at the corners and the bottom. Everything looks pretty good. Was there a mark I just saw on there? That'll wipe off as well. There's a little mark right there that that'll wipe right off. Not a problem. It's a definitely a kind of a, yeah, it's a smushy leather. It definitely doesn't have structure, but it's a beauty. And the prices on these bags are going up, 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 because these bags, this style bag is no longer produced, so. This is the vintage style Michael Kors Hamilton in a turquoise leather sheen, I guess you'd say. What would you say? It's kind of got like a, I don't know. It's like a metallic sheen to it. It's really pretty, really, really pretty. Okay, we have a purple, a purple Longchamp backpack. There's the little logo on here. It's a dark purple. The hardware is gold tone. Handle is great. Here's the embossing on the back as well. The only signs of wear is on the corner. And let me get it really close. You could barely, barely see it right there. And then we also have it on this side, but even less on this side right here. And Longchamp is all known to do that. So unfortunately, if that bothers you, I probably say not to get it but I would imagine the more the majority of you know Longchamp know how it works and knows that it's a wonderful wonderful carry super lightweight okay this guy is made in I think it's China if I remember correctly Grab my spectacles over here. Yep, this one is made in China. This is a tag of authenticity right here. And then you also wanna look for the little plastic ring around the snap pocket that also shows its authenticity. And of course, different things you wanna look at on the leather and things like that. But this is definitely an authentic Longchamp if you're interested. Love the purple, so pretty. As you guys already know, if you know, you know, you know, I'm a purple freak. It is what it is. Purple Longchamp. <clears throat> Next we have a red lipstick or cherry red, Rebecca Minkoff satchel in nylon with Safiano leather handles and a leather strap. Gold tone hardware, like new condition. Nice big slip pocket on the front. Keys, 
sunglasses, you know, they're quick grab and goes. It's got the really adorable little pyramid studs on each handle on the front and the back. Your Rebecca Minkoff plaque. Leather formed feet on the bottom. Corners are in great condition as well. Okay. Strap is detachable and adjustable and is also leather as well. Strap is in perfect condition as well as the handles. Alrighty, and the zip top closure. Okay, Rebecca Minkoff lined material, zipper pocket, credit card slot, and two open pockets on the inside, which is nice and clean. And this bag weighs just ounces. It's super lightweight. Okay. <clears throat> and did I mention it's gold tone hardware, right? So there you have that. A beautiful Rebecca Minkoff satchel. Okay, we've got a Ted Baker in black, black Safiano leather and this beautiful little rose gold metal detail bow on the front. Ted Baker heat stamp over here. All the measurements, if you're new to my channel, all the measurements are going to be on the website under the picture. Bottom and corners look great. Oh gosh, I guess I should I guess I should let you guys know that a lot of these bags are from my collection, this being the first one. So if you want something from my collection, something that I bought for myself that I didn't buy to resell but have just I have not been reaching for it, then that's what some of these bags are today, and this is one of them. Okay, let's show you the straps. They're in great condition. Look at the little T on the hardware. Pretty, pretty rose gold hardware. I love it. The inside has has dust from the little um, stuffing, so that's all you see on the inside. It's just jibbles of paper in there. And it's in a leather interior, nice and roomy. Great everyday tote bag purse. It's just adorable. I love the little bow on the front. It's also embossed Ted Baker on the bow. Let me grab that here. All right. If you are a purse connoisseur, then you are absolutely going to know who Rough and Tumble is. And there's dust. So I'm just getting all the dust off. Rough and Tumble is a handbag company that you can custom make your bags or you can purchase bags that they've already made. Look them up, roughandtumble.com. This is the City Safari. This one retails for over $500. And yes, this was from my collection as well. These are extremely expensive, very unique everyday bags. If you get it, I highly doubt it that you're gonna wanna put this one down. Um, Reed gave me one for Christmas, an all leather one. That's the only reason why I'm getting rid of this one. Um, I absolutely love this purse when I was using it. Love it, love it. Not only is it a crossbody or a shoulder bag, it is also a backpack. So it cinches together and becomes a backpack as well. Now the organization in this baby is everything. So this is a black canvas and a distressed gray leather on the front. 
On the front, you've got uh, two zipper pockets. They're kind of concealed. You can, they're hard to, you can't really see them unless you flip this up and you've got the little zipper pulls. So there's a large pocket here and then one here as well. Very, very pretty purse. So that's on the front. The back is just the canvas and the leather, okay? It has a brushed nickel hardware. It's got a really large leather zipper pull. And you're not gonna believe all of the organization that's in this guy. Unless you're a rough and tumble follower, then you're gonna know everything we're talking about here, which is amazing. All right, let's get down to the nitty gritty here. So, here is when you open the bag, sorry, I got itchy, the main compartment, and you can see the rough and tumble emblem is right here. Okay. So that's your main compartment, and there is a little bit of something. What did I get in there? I have no idea. Looks like I spilled a little thing of coffee or something. Anything's possible, I don't know. So there's that, and then, let's see, how do I wanna show you this first? It's just, it's got, it's really cool, I love it. So like I was showing you the main compartment, right? On the side wall, you have a zipper pull. Open it up, and in this large compartment, you have a leather, you could put your cell phone, whatever you want in there. So it's just another area for whatever you like, and it's leather. Okay, so we're gonna zip that back up. That's on one side wall. Then go to the opposite wall. You have a little key ring. And open this pocket. That goes all the way down to the bottom of the bag. Behind that, is another leather pocket. Okay, and that goes, it's like a large cell phone size. The opposite side has the exact same thing. A large pocket goes all the way down to the bottom of the bag, and then in that is another leather pocket. So it's great for like cosmetics, lotions, your phones, um, hand sanitizer, little things that you wanna keep tucked away. So there's all of that organization inside of the inside of the purse. The only thing is I will definitely, you know what? I'll do it right now as we speak. You know what, let me just uh, put you on hold for okay, a second. So totally coming out. You guys, I remember what this is now. A taco fell in my purse. <laughs> yes. A taco fell in my purse and uh, the hot sauce or like the, the drippy from the taco got on the bag. So I will do my best to get that out. It's not a big deal. You can see that it came out pretty good. Um, yeah. So it's a nice shoulder bag, crossbody bag, or backpack, zipper top closure. And um, other than the interior, other than the interior, it's perfect. So I, would vow to say that if you were to purchase this purse and use it, you're probably not gonna wanna change out for a long time. Um, I'll have to show you the one Reed got me. It's the exact same style, but he got it in an all leather. It's beautiful for Christmas time. Okay, all right, my vintage coach lovers. I have this coach in a black flap with the bronze colored hardware on it. It still has its hang tag. It is adjustable. This is a nice larger size purse, crossbody bag. And for the age, it's in beautiful, beautiful condition. The back has a large, very large pocket. It's a raw leather right there. And then material lining right here. can see that take a look at all of the hardware it's just beautiful the strap looks fantastic 
And then the corners and bottom, like I just showed you that. Okay. And then the inside. Hi, baby. Has a zipper and two leather trimmed pockets. That's very, very clean. And it's fabric lined. Pocket there, a pocket right there. And then let me show you the creed. Hopefully you guys can see that okay. There you go. Somebody's gonna ask me where it was made. I have a feeling. Cause that one usually gets asked a lot on the vintage pieces. And this was made in the United States. The good old US of A. Okay. So there you go. Beautiful vintage coach crossbody flat bag. And let me tell you, now that everybody's sourcing and reselling, Vintage Coach is really getting hard for me to find, you guys. Here's a Brighton Clutch Wallet in a snake print leather. Got the pretty jewelry on the front. You guys can see my little kitty toys back there and some inventory back there. So it's in a tans and taupes and a chocolate brown. This too is in beautiful condition. Silver hardware. Opens up nice and wide with all of your slip pockets, credit cards, more slip pockets, credit cards, ID, and then up here is your little purse compartment if you want to just take it out for an evening somewhere or such. That whole little guy there is a pocket. Very useful, excellent condition, and really, really pretty. Okay, so this is Brighton. Magnetic, got the magnetic closure on it. Okay. Um, let's see, let's do this one from my collection. This is a Vintage Addiction. Vintage Addiction is somewhat of an expensive brand and there is a story. You guys, excuse this mess. Woo! I got out of a windstorm before I came in to do my video. I was out running errands and... Yeah, now. Vintage Addiction. You guys might remember when I purchased this. How cute is it? And the story behind it is even better. All of these items are made from the guys who were in the Gulf War. All of their uh, their camos, their khakis, they were all donated and then they were created to make bags and accessories and this is one of them. So this one has a cute little VW, VW bus on the front. It's so 70s, just so cute and retro. Patch on it. Um, it's got the big old leather patch on the back that says Vintage Addiction. All of this that you see was part of whatever happened. It's not blood, don't worry. It's just like from age. Um, when our fellas were at war and their clothes got dirty and stained. And then of course they were all refurbished and washed and cleaned, but this was the leftover and it's just awesome. I think it's great. So this bag is actually in brand new condition because I only had my things in it once and I uh, just haven't used it since. So instead of keeping things I'm not using, I'm just gonna go ahead and start selling my collection as well as thrifting handbags, wallets, and all of that good stuff. So you guys saw there's a zipper top closure. The inside does have a large zipper compartment and it's super clean because I purchased it brand new. And like I said, only had my things in it one time and kept it very clean, so. Uh, the strap is detachable and adjustable. If you would like to switch out for one of your fancier straps or something more colorful, maybe to match the bug on the front, you can do that and it would be super cute. So very adorable vintage addiction crossbody uh, messenger style bag.
Okay, you guys. Looky, looky here. This too is in brand new condition. This is going on the internet right now for upwards of near $300 after tax. And I found you guys one. It is in brand new condition. This is the Coach. Is it the Marley or Molly? I have it written down. Um, it's it's like a denim jacquard fabric in signature stripe with of the blues, silver hardware, and leather trim. The little tan coach tag, hang tag. Uh, like I said, this one is in new condition. Strap, this strap here is adjustable and detachable. And then these little straps here are also a little bit adjustable. Leather base and bottom, corners, everything is beautiful on it. I'm excited to see who's going to snag this one because denim is super, super popular right now. And uh, this is a very, very sturdy, sturdy bag. So the inside looks like this with your main compartment. It's all Safiano leather trim on the in, or Safiano leather. Bleh. This is a Safiano leather inlay under the canvas. There. Silver hardware, center zip compartment have that and it's also now I used to always think when I saw this I thought the bag was reversible well I don't think it's reversible but it still has the coach emblem on the inside in silver so you know if you were to reverse it you'd have the emblem on the outside but you definitely can't reverse this one at least not in my opinion so um, just a really really adorable fun denim color canvas coach with leather trim okay okay next i'm going to pull for you if you want a little sorry guys a little grab and go crossbody i have a madewell pony hair not real pony it's actually cowhide hair on hide in the little black check polka dot um cheetah style so here is a post closure on the front pocket so that is a front pocket the strap is a tan leather that is adjustable and detachable as well okay zip top closure this bag is in perfect condition Make sure you see everything. Corners, back, sides, bottom. Looks like it's never even been worn. There's your little Madewell emblem. Pocket. And then a nice big opening for your goodies all your girly essentials in there very cute really really cute little crossbody bag put you up just a little bit there there we go okay so that's made well we've got this is from my collection do you guys remember me buying this one this is a house of harlow this thing is so pretty, but I don't use it, you guys, because I, I, I need to take out my purchases and use them. So House of Harlow, I purchased this on my own, brand new, and look at the handle. It's like a little snake handle, and then the eyes are rhinestones. Kind of hard to see, but the eyes are definitely little white rhinestones, Swarovski crystals, actually. Purse is in excellent brand new condition because I never wore this one. It is genuine leather. Look at the leather on the inside, the suede. Then you have the full interior. There is a pocket, you can't see it, but there's a pocket right there. Perfectly clean. Still has the little House of Harlow tassel on here. Gold tone hardware. And is so pretty, so, so pretty. 
So if you like to just carry it as a little top handle bag, you could do that or cross body it. If you like, you can do that. And like I was saying, it's adjustable and detachable. <clears throat> My collection, Hobo International, green Hobo International Distressed Leather Shoulder Bag. It has a ton of adjustments. You cannot wear it as a crossbody or it would probably sit about right here, but you can make it a really short shoulder strap. Such a pretty green color. And green is the good luck color of 2024. There's your big pocket for your phone. Bottom and corners look fantastic. This one's gonna patina over time, so it'll probably get even a more of a dark Kelly green if you like that. And this is really cool because the front zipper is right smack in the middle. And it's this whole area right here is so an open pocket. With the leather tassel pull. Minimal brass toned hardware. A zip top closure. Love Hobo International lining. It's always so cute. So this one has two open pockets, a zipper, and a credit card pocket on the inside. Here we go. Now you can see what the inside looks like. So there's the inside of this little pretty thing. Hobo tag, very clean, because it was mine. I keep my bags, I keep my bags primo. Little hobo charm. And she's ready to go. Okay guys, so there is this little beauty, beautimous bag. Okay, I've got a little vintage fossil for you in black leather with brown leather trim. Uh, let's see here, we have one, two zipper pockets on the front. This, that one's already open. That whole thing's a pocket. Brass hardware, that's a pocket. Slip pocket on the back and your main compartment. Inside you've got a zipper and two open pockets. Zipper and two open pockets. Corners and all are great on this guy. Strap as well. And it is adjustable and not detachable. Hi, honey. I know you want to play. Oh, boy. You guys. She wants to play. <laughs> she brought me her toy. You want to see something funny? Watch this. Can you see her? This is her favorite thing in his life. Wait, let me put. She doesn't like. She doesn't like this part. She only likes the stick. Okay, watch this. Watch this. Okay, ready? Go get it. And then she'll fetch it and she'll bring it back. Okay, fossil. <laughs> I had to say, I had to pause for my littles. Okay, you guys, I have my collection. This is a Lounge Fly Bambi backpack. Is that coming up? There we go. And I've not used this. Nope, I haven't even used it. Look at this little guy. Look how precious this is. 
And if you guys know, Loungefly definitely goes up in price um, because they're collector's pieces if you choose to do that. Or you can use the heck out of it if you don't want to. Keep it on your shelf. Look at the back. Look at that, you guys. That is so stinking cute. It's faux leather. It's got a brown base. Disney Lounge Fly tag. The inside is all brown with a slip pocket. And then you've got your front pocket here. Nice and roomy. Straps are adjustable. Look at that, so pretty with the flowers etched on the front. Corners are great. Back. Straps are excellent condition as well. Never worn. Just sitting up in my closet. So in excellent condition, brand new excellent condition. I need to move my things over here. Lots more to come, you guys. All right, let's do a Marc Jacobs. Excuse me. Okay, Marc Jacobs satchel in black leather. I can fit this on my shoulder and it's very comfortable. If you like to do that, you can do that. Crook of your arm or your adjustable and detachable crossbody strap. This leather piece does not come with it. That's mine, so I've got to take that off. I was seeing how it felt on. But there you have this beautiful piece. I love the way the straps are attached onto the bag with these D-rings. Um, this bag's in excellent condition. Very pretty. The hardware is beautiful. And we have my hair. There is a zipper pocket and yeah, one zipper pocket on the inside. And it is a Mark by Mark Jacobs. Okay, structured little guy. Medium size, not too little. It's a medium size, I'd say. Okay, so there's this beauty. Hardware is also marked Mark Jacobs on here. There we go. Okay. Next I have a bagu. My collection. So I ordered this. Um, I ordered two sizes. I got the small and I also ordered this large one thinking I would need the large. Well, I don't. So here you go, never used. This is the large Bagu Crescent in black. Super, super, super really duper really, really popular bag, you guys. It's very simple, but TikTok, if you go on TikTok like I do, I get bored, I go on TikTok. This bag is a hot commodity, you guys. Bagu Crescent, just look up the Bagu Crescent bag. And this one, like I said, is in large. Excellent condition. There's nothing wrong with it. I haven't even had my things in it. So not thrifted. Purchase retail. And the inside is one large zipper pocket. Right there. I mean, you can carry your life in here, right? I like, when I use my small one, I like putting my little pins, charms, and stuff, making it my own. It's really cute, so. If anybody's interested in a bagu, the strap is also adjustable to make it a shoulder bag or a crossbody. Okay. Um, I have a coach. The 
this pretty little coat here. This is in between a brown and a burgundy. I just called it dark chocolate on the listing, but it does have gunmetal grommets, a gunmetal twist lock, adjustable straps on the front and the back. It's a smooth leather. Corners look good. Okay, and it's one of these bags that open up really cool. Ooh, I love the coach tag on this one. Love that tag. And then it's your infamous triple opening with a zipper in the center, zipper pocket back there. Um, what do we have on this wall? Open pockets over here. And then your big center zip compartment with the signature lining. And the creed is right here. Very pretty. I think I've had every coach color material made in this style bag and it's one of your guys' favorites. So if I find it, I definitely bring it back. But this one was mine. So another one from my collection if you're interested. All right. You guys, these are one in a million if you find it pick it up. This is the Harvey Seatbelt Park Hopper. So expensive on the website. These are going three, four hundred dollars a piece. Harvey Seatbelt looks like a bucket bag, can be used as a crossbody bucket bag if you like, but it's also a backpack called the Park Hopper. So there's the little belt ring here to wear it as a backpack with the adjustable straps. These are all seat belts, which Harvey's is all about. And this guy's in new condition. Still stiff on the cinch here. It doesn't slide, doesn't slide off by itself. Magnetic snap closure at the top and opens very wide with silver hardware. Oh gosh, we've got a D-ring. One, two, three, three wall pockets on this wall, and then a zipper pocket over here. So there's the zipper pocket. And then over here are the three wall pockets. You can see those. One, two, three. And then the D-ring to hang your keys. And the made in the USA little tag. And then the Harvey's, I don't know if I showed you that. Hmm. Yeah, these, these, their uh, facility is not far from me at all. It says Harvey's California on there. Okay, so if you want this limited piece that they're no longer making, they might be, they might be, but I'm not 100 on that. But they are expensive, ladies and gentlemen. So everything on this bag is perfect. Kipling in a pretty color and a larger size. I finally found one. Was it? Who was it? Who was it? Who was it? I can't remember. I found you this one if you're interested. This is a really pretty, like a cobalt blue. It can be used as a tote, as a crossbody, or a shoulder bag, whichever you like. Strap is detachable. Your little monkey on here's name is. 
Daniel, I think. Daniel. So you've got your little buddy Daniel hanging on here. There are two pockets, one pocket on each side. This purse is in like new condition. Okay. Front pocket here. And in this pocket, you have a pin pocket and another pocket, and what is that? Oh, that's the key lanyard. Okay, so that's in your little front pocket. And then the back has this pocket. And here's what the top looks like. So, one. Perfectly clean, right? There you go. So a Kipling, I finally have one for you if anybody's interested. And love that fun blue color. Really, really cute. Okay. And I took a poll a while ago and asked which one should I keep? Which one should I give away? I actually agreed with you guys. You guys were telling me I should keep the Paloma Picasso number one because I just love Paloma Picasso. I love what it's about. It is actually, Paloma is uh, Picasso's daughter and she also works with Tiffany and Company. So she was actually a designer of jewelry and brought out her bag. So I'm keeping the Paloma Picasso and since this is so similar, I am putting it up for you, for whoever wants it. This is just beautiful in my collection. Absolutely excellent, like brand new condition. It's got the pretty little tassel and this is the Marc Jacobs itself. Not Marc by Marc, but Marc Jacobs. It is beautiful in black pebbled leather. Okay, corners are perfect as well. And the hardware on it is gorgeous. It's just so pretty. Here is the zipper pull. Even the zipper's really cool on it. It was a tough decision, you guys. I didn't know which one to keep. And although this one is worth way more than the bag I'm keeping, I'm not so much into what a bag is worth rather than how I like it aesthetically. And I really like the Paloma Picasso. It's really kind of cool. So, and it's brand new. I'll have to show it to you. I have it put away right now, but I'll have to show it to you. If you're curious, if you're looking at anything behind me and you're like, what the heck is that? Everything that you see back there is on the website also. Okay, here's the inside with the zipper and the Marc Jacobs emblem. Okay, and this is a pocket. And then over here are two open pockets. And you guys can see it's perfectly clean. worth every penny for sure this is a heavy duty bag there's nothing chintzy about it at all so that is going to conclude today's purse sale you guys shop your little hearts out if you will if you don't want to thank you so much for stopping by i hope everybody has a wonderful rest of your week thank you so much for all of your support whether you stop by and just watch 
I love your comments. If you can just comment, say something, that would be great. I'd love to get back to you. And then the website if you're interested in purchasing anything. All right, you guys, have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you on the next video. Bye, everybody.